welcome to this video on ServiceMax UI testing with Provar. We'll start this test on a work order record. We're going to start by testing the Create Usage SFM, so we'll right click on it and select Add to Test Case. This opens a draft test step in Provar's test builder. Note that Provar automatically understands that we're on the work order screen and that within that there's an embedded Visual Force page called Service Order Wizard. This page has been mapped before, so Provar recognises it's an existing page and an existing field. Provar uses page objects to map pages created using custom code. If we wanted to map this field from scratch, we just need to select New Field and define the locator. Provar has various locator options such as Label, XPath and CSS. These options are the same as any custom framework, except that Provar takes away some of the complexity and brittleness using metadata. We'll hear more about this on the next screen, Create Usage Lines. ServiceMax screens are typically hard to test as their HTML contains a lot of dynamic content. This can make it difficult to get reliable tests. Provar helps us manage this through metadata. Using metadata, Provar recognises that we're on a ServiceMax page, Create Usage Lines, and it also recognises all the field definitions from ServiceMax. This saves the user from having to locate the field from the DOM or HTML, XPath or CSS. Using metadata, the approach is much more reliable and dynamic, and we can also test across different environments without having to make updates to the test. Note now that Provar is handling even a complex date field, which is split into five components. It can also handle ServiceMax lookups, for example when adding parts, where we can either set the value directly or go through the lookup screen. Once the lookup screen arrives, we'll use a WHERE clause to help find the right row in our table. This helps us select the right data dynamically so that we can use this test across many different environments. Provar understands each screen within the ServiceMax lookup and handles the navigation automatically. Back on Create Usage Lines, we're also setting line quantity data from Excel. This was read in from an Excel sheet earlier on in the test. Note also that some of these fields are being set using logic such as date formulas. This helps ensure that our test data is future dated. Finally, we can choose right-click and map the Save button to save this record, and then we can continue on with our flow. That's it for this demo, but we can at any time generate a PDF report to see our test run results. This PDF report includes individual execution steps and timestamps, as well as any screenshots if we'd included these in the test steps. We hope you enjoyed this Provar demo video. For more information, visit provartesting.com forward slash servicemax.